Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having a great day. So we're going to go ahead and continue with our collective reads. This will be for all signs, which means it may or may not resonate with you in your personal situation. If it does, take what resonates. If it does not, leave the rest for those that it applies in their personal situation. All right, collective, I'm continuing to get more energy about whatever was going on with you uh, today with the person inner people that's just like really coming against you right now. Um, I was saying that on my last reading. It's like you got one person, then there's like a group for people who are like attached to it so however the situation resonates for you place the energy wherever it resonates friend family member the ex the karmic attached to the ex somebody at your job or somebody you just started interacting with and they just start tripping out on you right whoever the person is is coming out with the hierophant and the inverse energy y'all this is another telltale sign of how they're coming hierophant and the inverse is very corrupt lack of morals energy um, this this person kind of does their own thing doesn't think that there's any repercussions for it so it's kind of like they they do whatever because they, that's just who they are right but it's a very corrupt um energy this is also an energy of uh, a bad advice like giving bad advice so um you know we did have that energy of like being attached to like a group so there are people you know involved in the situation so you may have somebody out there giving bad advice about you in a situation so all that's in the hierophant in the inverse but you got the eight of wands in the reverse coming out so this is them feeling like they're stuck they're having delays and they're they're not ready for change right they're being like this because they're not ready to change um, and I'm getting like it has everything to do with you. Like how you're showing up is bothering the heck out of these people, right? However, this situation resonates is their situation. They're not ready for the change. They want it to be like it was. They want it to be, you know, you know, however you, you, they thought of you, they want you to be in that, that particular view and they don't want to change in this version of you. Now, God, God has made his decision on the situation because like I was telling y'all, we had the death card come out on my first reading earlier today so it is very very clear what the ethers is instructing you to do right and here's why like come on y'all like you see what time it is with this person's energy or people's energy right they do feel stuck they're having delays dealing with this ten of pentacles in the reverse and i think this came out yesterday or the day before one of them they are dealing with some type of issues with stability um security um so and i was telling y'all a lot of insecurities are going on here like you're triggering the mess out of people's insecurities just by being you loving you doing you authentically you unapologetically you and it triggers people it's not like you're doing anything to anybody you're doing you right and you know that's bothering somebody this ten of pentacles in the reverse right this is some type of problems with insecurity this is also financial problems you know what i'm saying this is also um deals with some type of debt or poor investment so this is what somebody has got going on so they they feel stuck because of this they're having a rough time i am getting this in the opposite as well ten of uh, ten of pentacles in the upright does have to do with actual inheritance monetary inheritance so somebody lost the actual monetary inheritance right i am getting this resonate spiritually because we did have the uh, star energy come out of my last reading too somebody wants your life right so it's kind of like they feel entitled to it which is weird like i'm getting in the download somebody feels entitled to your light um this ten of pentacles um energy also has to do with like i said spiritual inheritance how uh, where you are going right now and it's not like you're doing anything to do anything to anybody else you're on your life path you're on your soul's journey your soul's journey has nothing to do with nobody but you and god not whoever this person and or people are that's trying to make it their business about what you're doing for your life purpose that's literally a contract between you and god and you know everybody's got you know whatever they're here to do you know but it's at the same time it's like that's what somebody feels entitled to which is the weirdest thing and how i'm getting it in the energy y'all so this is what i'm getting somebody feels stuck and delayed you know so whether this is a work situation a business situation monetary actual inheritance spiritual inheritance take the energy as it relates in your uh, relates in your own personal situation but again how they feel about this ten of pentacles in the reverse however it resonates does make them go into the full in the reverse energy so you got a corrupt energy over here full in the reverse energy being reckless childish naive doing things that are risky so like i said y'all i don't make up nothing that i get in the energy somebody and or a group of people out here are doing the most right now you got two cards out here confirming it so they're just doing all different types of things and it's because again they're triggered by you told you magician coming out here in your power your authority that the most high god has given you right this is also um, i'm getting a lot of it, the fact that you're confidently taking action on whatever it is for your life purpose and again this is what you're doing for your own life has nothing to do with nobody else it's bothering somebody about it this magician energy i'm getting heavy on the fact that you're taking action on your life journey 
by yourself confidently and it's bothering somebody because somebody really is feels entitled to it they really have an opinion about what you're supposed to be doing in your life and that's been coming out throughout the week y'all y'all ain't playing like and i mean it, it's when you're dealing with you know somebody on your spiritual journey your soul's journey that is only between you and the most high and only you know where that's going right so it's like you doing that it, it's like somebody's got an opinion about it and they feel entitled to make a decision about it whoever this king of pentacles and reverse person is y'all this person is a it's like in contrast with your energy and the fact that your magician energy is also very logical use a lot of resources right so it's just like you're tapped in like you're, you're tapped in like uh, as above so below right collective so this is who you naturally are you being you authentically is triggering whoever wants to control that that person who feels entitled to that this king of pentacles in the inverse energy is somebody who is dishonest right this is somebody who has a very dominant energy that person that wants to control you and whatever you're doing right now y'all i don't make up nothing here's your cards to confirm it I make up not a single thing. This King of Pentacles in the inverse is a very materialistic energy. And like I was telling y'all, was it yesterday, the day before? I was telling y'all, I was getting the energy and the downloads about somebody. It's like about how they look versus how you look. So here's how you're looking right here. And here's how they look. The person that's always about the look, this King of Pentacles in the inverse is a materialistic energy. This is also an energy of dishonesty, right? This is also somebody who's got... Um, you know, uh, makes poor financial decisions, right? So if somebody's out here making poor financial decisions, no wonder they have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Same energy. Y'all, I don't make up nothing. Here go your cards to confirm it. Well, because this person has got some issues, however, this Ten of Pentacles in the inverse energy is relating in this situation, there is a Five of Cups in the reverse energy. This person's avoiding recovery. They're masking it. Yeah, I mean, and not let's just keep it real out here, collective. Everybody has problems. Ain't nobody out here footloose and fancy free and doesn't have any problems. That would be the fakest, most plastic world that, that's out here, okay? Everybody got problems, right? But this is somebody who's not healing and dealing with those problems in a healthy way. Here's how they deal with it. They go rogue and do like reckless, risky stuff. They act childish towards you. However, this resonates. And again, I do not get anything in the energy that you've done anything untoward uh, toward this person like at all this person is just insecure about who you are in your power doing you living your life unapologetically that is what's triggering the mess out of this person and this ten of pentacles and they, you know this may have something to do with you um you know and I, I do feel like an energy of blame like somebody's like blaming you for something um but if that does not resonate it's somebody that's dealing with some some problem that's externally for you so it, it could be a lot of different situations because i'm getting a lot of things in the download so however it resonates this five of, of cups in the reverse is them avoiding recovery uh, from it they're masking it and how they're masking it is with their ego they're also masking it with this blame told you i felt blame eight of pentacles and the reverse is here this talks about a very uncommitted energy um the fact that they're not committed with you anymore however this situation resonates uh, with that um however they're connected with you this is also talking about shoddy work so again i told you i felt blame in this energy here's where the blame is coming from this eight of pentacles in the reverse talks about not being committed um and talks about shoddy work dealing with you queen of cups so we've got more double energy so my last energy i have two different energies in the upright so this may be you and this may be somebody else with the king of wands um or in, in your situation it could be somebody that has is carrying both of these so take the energy as it resonates if you're dealing with the situation by yourself or you're dealing with it with somebody else again place the energy as it resonates your queen of cups energy is out here talking to me because again you're still coming up very caring you are empathic um i'm getting some downloads but you're very caring you are very empathic you pick up on people's energy right and you're also very tapped in with your psychic abilities right under the magician energy so you're very tapped in you know you know exactly what's going on in the ethers right now you know exactly where you're called to what you're called to do to separate and continue to vibrate higher in the situation um queen of cups something about this is connecting to your spiritual gifts y'all readers this i'm talking to you <laughs> readers um, readers out here, I'm getting a specific download. If you're a reader, you got somebody out here mad that you read their energy. Y'all, don't be mad at the tarot lady because they pick up on your energy. They, they, this is the energy to be read. Okay, so this is somebody who has a, a you know the, given the ability to do this and read this. Somebody out here is mad at a reader for reading their energy, right? 
Others of you, there's somebody out here that is aware of your spirituality, your spiritual journey, and they're, they're aggro about that uh, very thing. So they may not have gotten reading about you, but it's like aggravated about your spiritual journey in general. So, you know, maybe you've discussed your spiritual journey. Somebody's aggravated about that, but they want to control what you do in your spiritual journey. It ain't got nothing to do with them. That is that is the most futile thing that they could possibly do. Okay, This Queen of Cups energy is also connected to this King of Wands. The energy of being a leader, very motivational, inspiring, warm, courageous, right? So you're confidently, courageously moving forward in your life journey, despite what everybody else thinks, what no matter, uh, regardless of what somebody else wants to do to control it, how you move in your life journey, what you do with your life is your own business between you and the most high and ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. So, you know, again, if this is you and somebody else, take that energy as it resonates. It could be you carrying both of these energies right now. Still, still very, very powerful as a magician if you're carrying both of these. But you're also coming out as a hermit, right? the fact that you are in a position of solitude so you there is a, a lot of you guys out here going it alone right so this uh harmony energy is you stepping away from society you were called to separate from this particular person and or persons for a reason because you were being protected by archangel gabriel in the situation because of this right they they this is not for you to be you know intermingling with but at the same time you're being called to step away with this hermit energy this also talks about the energy of wisdom self-reflection um you know this is energy of guidance so it's just like you're getting guidance in, in this energy it told you, you guys are being protected by archangel gabriel so you would be seeing angel numbers throughout the day to help you guide yourself in this particular situation here something about this nine of pentacles energy is out here connected to the king uh, queen of cups the, the fact that this Knight of Pentacles is out here talking about the fact that you're hardworking, trustworthy, and dependable. So this could resonate in a work situation. Despite all the adversity around you, you keep pushing, you keep working, you keep focusing, you keep creating in your own personal business, right? You keep moving in your own spiritual journey. You keep being committed to you, your spiritual journey, the most high, whatever it is that you're trying to do, you're still committed in it, despite what everybody else has an opinion about you about, you know what I'm saying? So again, all of this has to do with your spiritual journey is what I'm getting. It's like you doing you unapologetically you. It, it's still going to be how you're going to continue to move in this particular situation. Literally confirmed with the page of Pentacles. Told you this is talking about your foresight, the fact that you're an apprentice, being an apprentice on your, your new life, your new life start, your new beginning, you know, getting a new beginning away from this person and or people, figuring out how you're going to maneuver in that situation. Um, right. Page of Pentacles is also talking about this is some type of financial planning. So if this does resonate in the business, financial situation, actual family inheritance, right? You know, planning how you're going to maneuver going forward, separating yourselves from these particular people, right? So it's like recommitting yourself to you instead of people who are trying to control you and what you think and what you do and how you move and how you show up to the world, right? Literally, because the Ace of Swords is here, the truth is out. The truth is out about something. You know, this Ace of Swords talks about truth, clarity, communication, being smart about a situation. I'm getting this like an actual communication took place. Like an actual truth came out about a particular situation. And the reason is because the Page of Swords in Reverse comes out right after that. There is a truth that came out to confirm to you that this person and her people are currently carrying Page of Swords in Reverse energy directed towards you, being two-faced, causing confusion, um, you know, slandering you behind your back. This is somebody who's also, you know, gossiping and spying. So it's like this, this Ace of Swords is a confirmation to you that this is going, going on right now. But again, like, I don't feel like you're focusing on it. You're focusing on you. That is your focus. All this energy out here, doing, doing yourself, you know, um, you know, staying in solitude, you know, being wise and being guided in the situation, doing a lot of self-reflection. This all tells me that you're not focused on anybody, but you at this time as well you should keep focusing on you collective when it comes to this particular energy all this is a waste of time ace of pentacles in the reverse told you this is a wasted opportunity because the problem is somebody in our group of people have a problem with you you're not even focusing on them that is makes it very very clear who the problem is it's not you you've not done anything to anybody at all whatsoever and if this is a reader that I'm talking about, because I am getting this energy with the Queen of Cups or somebody, you know, an aggro about you reading their energy. Look, the energy is the energy. And, you know, when it comes to this situation, if that person carries the energy, they carry the energy. And I, I kept telling you all my prior readings, you can't fake your energy. 
Like if that's the energy that you're walking around in, that's the energy that you walk around in. Don't be mad at the tarot reader that they, they pulled it out of your energy. Don't do not do it. That's a wasted opportunity. Mm -mm. The, the fact that this uh, seven of wands energy is out here, this is a wasted opportunity because you're defending yourself, right? You're standing up for yourself and you're not allowing other people to make judgments on what you do with your own life, focusing on you and ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. These are people who are trying to like enforce their will onto you, but you're defending yourself with the seven of wands energy with the king of swords energy. You got the, the ace of swords out here. You got the sword of truth in the hand of the king of swords. The fact that you are very, very intelligent. And I feel like when in any type of the, whatever this communication is that came out and how you're defending yourself, you're defending yourself in a very intelligent manner. You're not about the shenanigans. Like, look, you want to live and let live and enjoy your life in peace and happiness. But no, all these people want to do is fight because they're aggro, because they're uh, insecure about you. That is not your problem for you to deal with, right? This King of Swords energy is also somebody that's honest and fair about the situation. If you know, when it comes to the situation, if there's anything that you need to course correct on, you do it and you move on. That is also connected to this Hermit energy, right? Doing a lot of self-reflection. Ain't nobody out here perfect, collective. Nobody. If you, if you think you're perfect, that that's a, that's a problem. Um, but it, when it comes to you know everybody making mistakes, everybody can make a mistake, but everybody can also look within, figure out what that is, and move on. That is what allows you to be the King of Swords because you don't think you're perfect. But you know who does think they're perfect? Narcissists. This is also giving me a narcissist and an empath battling it out. Um, and like I was telling you all in my prior readings, maybe like a week or two ago, I saw something that kind of broke down the journey of an empath and a narcissist. They're kind of, you know, find each other in life, right? Narcissists and empaths both go through hard situations in their life. A lot of trauma, a lot of childhood trauma, a lot of, a lot of emotional wounds that they got to heal, right? But the empath is the one that really took the time to go with them with that hermit energy to heal those wounds so they can be secure in their energy. And when it comes to, you know, healing those childhood wounds, that is what allows you to be stronger in, in your energy, right? But the narcissist, they become like, um, you know, someone who deals with them by shoving them down and avoiding recovery. Five of cups in reverse. That's what narcissists do. They avoid recovery and they cover it up and they mask uh, that wound by doing other things. Materialistic energy, um, uh, King of Pentacles in the inverse. They cover it up with things. They cover it up with people. They cover it up, you know, with a smile. They cover it up with, you know, I'm the life of the party. They cover it up with whatever, addictions, devil energy, toxic behavior. So they mask, they mask their toxic, um, their, I mean, their childhood wounds with toxic behavior. And that's how narcissists do it. But not only that, that mask prevents them from seeing that there is still more healing to be done, right? That mask prevents them from acknowledging that there are things that they need to work on within themselves and not project blame onto somebody else, right? That mask prevents them from seeing that they're not always right all the time. Look, if y'all ever have a conversation with a narcissist, that conversation will end up, they're always right, you're always wrong, and they got to blame you for something and they need you to see king of pentacles in the reverse trying to be dominant but they're just they're dishonest uh right they need you to see the error of their ways so this will be somebody very pushy about their point so you can understand the error of your ways y'all this person ain't got nothing to teach you this <laughs> hermit energy you've already done your self-reflection and it's not like this is a one and done thing you continue to heal the self-love journey is a lifelong journey so is a healing journey and your spiritual journey as well so it's like you understand this i'm talking to the choir right this king of swords energy is being honest and fair but moreover you're very accurate about this person and her people's energy readers out here I know you hear me. People be getting mad that you be reading their energy, but it's their energy, right? But for collective, our final clarifier is the devil in the reverse. I told you these people are moving out of their devil energy. Here's your devil in reverse energy to understand that you're breaking these chains. This devil in the reverse is independence. And this is freedom and walking away from unhealthy relationships. And if you can see, I don't know if I can move this up a little bit. That devil has a chain, chaining people together right? You're breaking that chain, right? Whoever this particular person and or people are that are trying to chain you to them, you're breaking that chain with the truth, honesty, healing, love, raising your vibration. That's how you're breaking that chain. It's your light that does it. That's why you get the devil in the reverse energy for you collective, because you are getting your, your freedom and your independence from people who carry devil energy towards you. Let's get a visions of duality, get some advice for our collective. Card 12 talks about betrayal. Yep, somebody and or and a person or a group of people, they did betray you because this energy is coming out, but you, as I said, have the devil in the reverse energy to break the chains of this betrayal. We can be betrayed and we can betray. If we do or act as someone we are not, we are betraying ourselves. 
After that, it takes the longest time before we can forgive ourselves and start rebuilding what we have destroyed. This betrayal executes our soul and is not worth it, no matter how precious the traitor's reward is offered. If one cannot say no, it can at least not say yes, as woe comes to those who betray themselves without realizing it. Yep. Advice. Be true to yourself and others will have a chance to be true to you. Um, and it, the, um, the energy here about, you know, betrayal is, you know, how this person and her people started behaving towards you and you didn't do anything to them. They're just triggered by you, right? They're going through something and they're very agitated right now. This is them betraying you. But at the same time, if you were not breaking the chains of this person, you would be betraying yourself by continuing to be in the energy of people who are just upsetting your energy, right? So this is you no longer betraying yourself to be completely authentically and lovingly you. Let's get a gratitude oracle and we're wrapping up. Card 28 talks about commitment, heavy on you committing yourself to you, how you're continuing to move in your own energy. Definitely uh, focus on your commitment to you. Relationships are sustained through care and attention. Long-term relationships, including friendships, are a testament to your willingness to put energy into nourishing those connections. When you accept the challenging times, even these moments where there it seems to be a communication gap or a disconnect, it means you value the relationship. This commitment can pertain to a contract or work partnership. At the beginning of a professional or personal or romantic venture, relationships are in an idyllic phase where everyone tends to be on their best behavior. After this initial phase, reality sets in and people start being a bit more genuine. It's not that there is a pretense, just that people just don't usually show all of their less appealing attributes or shortcomings right away. As you become more comfortable with someone, you feel safe enough to reveal more of yourself. Commitment begins with you. Know what you want and what you consider to be deal breakers. Be honest and open about your desires. Be willing to put all your wishes out in the open. Know your strengths and create a balance between your wants and abilities. Be aware of how a relationship makes you feel. Does it bring out the best in you or the worst in you? As you look at relationships, make sure they support your growth and enable you to feel validated. Determine what you are getting yourself into before committing fully. Then be ready to go the distance and put in both the time and the effort needed as they should be doing with you. Yeah. So it's like, a, it's like it, it should go both ways, right? But this is clearly a situation where it's not a reciprocal situation. This person who betrayed you did not have that commitment. So you're recommitting yourself back to yourself, right? To release yourself from unhealthy relationships. That's going to go ahead and do it for this particular reading. If you do like this content, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, bye-bye.